Cycle Solutions is your one-stop shop for upgrades and service. Cycle Solutions, Fort Myers, and CycleSolutions.com. Taking your bike from the street to the strip. Hi, this is Chris Waddell from Cycle Solutions, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. I have got one heck of a motor here to talk about today. Doing this job for Pete from Sounds, uh, custom audio for beggars. So... This is going to be the biggest one I've done. It's 153 cubic inches going into a Milwaukee 8. And I got quite a list of parts here that might be of interest to uh, talk about. So basically, the crank's been done. It's got a dark horse crank in it, uh, it has dark horse Carrillo rods, no counterbalancers inside of it, Timken bearing conversion. It's balanced, it's welded. It is absolutely a brick shit house. It moves with absolute, complete ease absolutely zero run out the tip of the pinion axis uh it's got a toyo bearing in it so we got rid of the cage bearing it's all needles like i said the timpkins on the other side the dark horse crank the stroke of the rods the stroke of the crank is 4.625 inches and just for sake of comparison the bore is 4.6 inches and that's what came out of it <laughs> Stunning, really. Truth be told, I'm jealous. I wish I had one. <laughs> Basically, uh, starts with this uh, using the fueling cam plate and the race oil pump on the rotors. The uh, this particular build will have the Harley-Davidson O-ring, which in this case it's Cometic, goes in the back of the oil pump back plate, which slides on and goes against the bearing. Pretty slick arrangement. Um, we found that to be uh, pretty advantageous to use. So uh, this particular machine is going to get a 584 lift zippers redshift cam, so it should be super, super ridiculously strong in terms of torque, not to mention horsepower. This bike will have a D&D &D billet cat as well. Um, this is a set of uh, cylinders with by far the largest bore I've ever seen. If this was a Z06 Corvette, this motor would be 612 cubic inches. So these things are quite literally a half inch larger than what came out of it. So these are actually a raised piston. They're ceramic coated on the sides. I've diamond cut this motor, the heads as well. So later today, I'll be uh, trimming the rings, making certain everything fits properly. Um, the heads are all done, valve springs, they're ported, they're polished. Nice setup. Once it's assembled and the stacks together, it'll be held together by ARP studs and bolts. That's some nice jewelry, strong as can be. Uh, we'll be using a standard style rocker in this particular one because of the lift. Um, later on, when they change some ratios on roller rockers, we may be able to go back and change the spring retainers and, and do something with that but at this point given the size of it we have to go that route this is a brand new piece uh, bring the camera closer you can see this is the new fueling gorilla rocker pin a rocker shaft this thing is seriously heavy duty they brought it up it requires you to use the stud and nut kit to hold it in place but once it drops down it's a pretty snug fit once it drops down these spin down on top it's basically bulletproof in its design so those will go in it we'll also be using the t-man billet breather valves in this heads to insert or ensure that every single stroke the depressurization goes out and nothing goes back in. That allows the oil pump, the sump side of the oil pump to uh, 
maintain an even removal, even flow of removal of oil going out. I will be using the SNS and uh, uh, lifter tappet cups, fueling uh, lifters in this as well. Um, fueling's crank sprocket is even a crank like this may have a little end play in this case it does not so we'll have some fun there SNS's cam chain tensioner will be employed as well so it sure will be interesting to see what this thing's like once it's put together and tuned on a dyno um, maybe we'll have a video for that later on thanks for tuning in if you want to be notified when new videos from cycle solutions are released hit the like and subscribe button follow us